So yeah. Alright, let's see here. Um Let's go up here. I don't think we have all the chainsaw maniacs yet. You wanna be careful though because Jelly Bobs can get those neighbors we have. Yeah, there's two more right there. Jelly Bobs can get those neighbors that are behind the skeleton door, so they're not safe. Wow, I miss a bunch of these guys. Come on, there's plenty of time room for y'all. Y'all can get some love. But anyways, yeah. So overall, I guess you could say the second run was a little bit more successful. But really not. And I also even managed to rescue that explorer in level 14 that I rescued in my original playthrough, but when I played through the game again, I lost, trying to get caught up to where I was. Alright, let's see here. There should be... Three more? I think? Three more neighbors? Jelly Blobs. Yeah, there he is. Oh no. Careful. You just slide my military, man. Alright, we're good. I'm just gonna bust a bunch of holes in the wall now, because that should be the last one on this stage. And hopefully the jelly blobs will be distracted by Julie's monster potion to leave my other neighbors alone. Alright, let's come up here real quick. Grab that. Alright, let's go. Just bust holes in the wall. Julie, Julie's tired of this crap. She's tired of it. She wants to go home. She wants to put her feet up. Sip some Mai Tai with the pool man. Drink her beer, her red wine, smoke her cigars. You know, maybe indulge in a little green. How many do I have? Alright, that should be good enough for a massive destruction bonus, I would think. Hmm. Did I bust a hole over here to get in here? Let me use this thing right here. Hopefully it doesn't give me death. Perfect. Gives me life. Uh... Nope. I didn't. Eh, who cares? There's another monster potion in the next stage anyways. And like I said earlier, I'm not even going to use the monster potion for the final boss. You don't need to. Actually, as a matter of fact, the Monster Potion is the worst weapon to use for the final boss. But yeah, I hope y'all had a good New Year's. Uh, I did. I got some... I took a few pictures. Yeah, I'll be putting them up on Facebook eventually. Um, I recorded some more of my new project that I have coming out. I also went through and tested my merits with the Ultimate Hack. And I must say, out of all the games I've played, Zombie Eats My Neighbors wise, the original uh, Ultimate Hack, Oh No, More Zombies Ain't My Neighbors, the Ultimate Zombies Ain't My Neighbors hack is my favorite. Hands down. It's difficult because this one, this one is just too easy. I mean, I've gone through this game so many times. Alright, let's see here. The next stage is with this guy, so let's go. But yeah, I've gone through this game multiple times. I've done, I've gone through this game not losing any neighbors the whole way through, I think. I do know I went through the game with all 10 neighbors before. I also went through the game, there you go, Master Destruction bonus, Chain No Bazooka Fire bonus, Chainsaw Be Gone bonus. I also went through the game with the Passer Run, so I went through the game with 10 neighbors, 9 neighbors, 8 neighbors, and so on and so forth. Which was a lot of fun. And now I'm going through this game again, and I will probably go through it again. This is a classic game you can always play again. Great Iron Terror. Well, let's see what we have going on in here. Yeah. Doesn't seem so terrible. I wonder why it's called Great Iron Terror. It is a second to last stage. Surely there's some difficulty in here. Isn't there? Or maybe. Oh, what's that? Grandma Margaret! <laughs> You're welcome, Sky. Alright. Oh, bitch. Come here. dead yet? Good. Ah, sure, we'll take care of these terrors. Certainly there is more terror in this stage since it is the last second to last level. I would think. 
Doesn't seem too bad now. It's just snake oils. We know how to deal with them. Uh-oh, where'd he go? Well, fine. I'll get the cheerleaders since the football players obviously want to save the cheerleaders for their own desires. I mean, you see he's steadily pushing me into that cheerleader. It's all like, Julie, you must save the cheerleader. Her and I are going to meet in the locker rooms after this is over. And y'all, that is it in the stage. There is no terror in the stage. It's just those. And they're not terrible. However, this is the last stage I'll be able to get a major bonus on. So I'm going to play some football. Yeah, um... Yeah, really, this stage is a joke. If it weren't for the, uh... Snake Oids, this stage would be a piece of cake. Like, you could just go through this stage with hardly any ammo and you'd be fine. You just need enough ammo to kill the Snake Oids. And actually, all you need is one Monster Potion and you got them. Get them all three to gather it up and then use your Monster Potion and go at them. And then they'll die one by one. So yeah, there is no terror on this stage. It was all a joke. All a ruse. Dr. Tung trying to be funny. He wanted you to gag on your tongue. But anyways, um, so let's, we could do this. Alright, and actually you don't even need to kill all the snakeoids to get through this stage. Uh, it is, however, possible to get stuck on this stage by misusing a regular key. Yeah, if you misuse a key, you can get stuck on this, key, this stage and won't be able to complete it. If you've already killed the snakeoids. Because you just can't defeat it. Because you need a key to get in there with her. So if you don't have any bazooka shots and you don't have any keys. And you don't have the snake oids. You have to start the stage all over because they can't be killed. Luckily for me though. I have enough keys. I mean look at the key count I have. 23. 23 I'm at the end of the game. I'm trying to think if there are any other neighbors that I lost while playing through this last time. Uh, I rescued the teacher in 39 that I lost. I still have to figure out a better way to rescue that cheerleader without using the game's restrictions. In, uh, level 37. But, I'll figure it out later. I've done it before. And y'all, that is it for this stage. Let's move on over to the finale. Before you go over there, make sure you put your running shoes on. You're gonna need to. Well, hold up a second. I lied. I'm gonna play some football. But once I get done playing football, I will see you guys in the next stage. Where you guys at? You guys were spawning like crazy earlier, so... Hmm, okay, here we go. One. Oh, I don't know if he caught it. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Alright, let's go. We got enough. We got it all. Uh, do I have all the items on the field? Not that I need any items. I mean, I have enough right here as it is. Um, I will say that I did end up having to use many, much more flamethrower ammo to destroy um, the giant spider in level 30. Uh, 6. But, eh, I'm not worried about it. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to have your ancient artifacts. Oh, I missed those forks and knives. They will come in handy. You want to have your ancient artifacts and your running shoes on for the next stage. Because we're going to need to use them immediately. And we're, going, we're good to go. Make sure you all have 10 neighbors going strong. Bonus to pass completion. Our last perfect player bonus. Well, okay, fine. Secret bonus. There actually is not a secret stage after that. There is no more bonus levels. That is the last one. And now we will finish up in the next part. So I would like to thank you all for watching. Come with me as we finish up on the finale of Let's Play Zombies and My Neighbors.